No, I love that story. And, uh, and I think that's what got me hooked into Michael Heiser is I was looking, I was looking up, um, <clears throat> something related to like Jesus's, uh, actual birthday. And, and I came across some Heiser videos on that topic and it blew my mind. And then after that, I was hooked. Uh, I was like, I'm going to buy every book he's got. I have a mm -hmm. weird story because I was raised a Christian. I became an atheist when I was like 25. And then I eventually became a Christian mm. again after like a year. <laughs> and whenever I became a Christian again, I thought large parts of the Bible were totally unreliable. And so, you know how there's like that trope of people starting conservative and they slowly become more and more liberal. Yeah. I've like started liberal, <laughs> like slowly becoming more and more <laughs> conservative. And one of the, the, yeah, he really made me take the birth narratives more seriously again. Mm. He made me and, take a uh, lot of the Bible more seriously again. Yeah, he did. He made a, he made he made the Old Testament make sense for me. Yes, yes. Um, but I well, yeah, I really like the. Uh, I'm gonna go get his books real quick and show now. them on screen. But keep talking. Oh, just the birth story stuff has a special place in my heart, and it's super fascinating to me now. And. Uh, yeah, I like the um well he he compares it to um I believe it's Revelation 12. Yes. Where it talks about the virgin giving birth and the dragon is at her feet waiting to devour the child and she's got 12 jewels in her crown and um and I think the the moon is at her feet or something like that but it uh I I I can't remember the verse exactly off the top of my head but I do know the general story which is really mind-blowing if you look at the um, the, I forget what, what is the, uh, what's the science where they study the stars? Astrology. Um, or astrology. Astronomy. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, no. Astrology, so which, <laughs> astrology is kind of what the Magi <laughs> were doing. So, okay. Yeah. So then astronomy. So there's astronomy programs where you can put in certain data points and it'll tell you what time in history that those were occurring in the sky at that, you know, um, so somebody had put in, and so Heiser, he, he claims that it's, it wasn't his idea that he, he came across it, but uh, he, um, so he, he goes into, he talks about where if you take into account what's happening in Revelation 12, I believe, and you put it into this program, it gives you a, a, a 45 minute window at one point in history, which is really mind blowing that, uh, you know that that it that it did happen at one point in history, and and the time period is so small, the window is so small that it would have occurred, and that's what the date comes out to be as September eleventh, three BC. Yeah, and and uh, I thought it was oh what a ridiculous you know bladed, it's trying to amp up people's emotions, and I looked at the book he was arguing from, it was written in nineteen ninety six. I was like, oh. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> and the importance of the date is that it's Tishri one in the Jewish calendar, so it. Right. It's almost like Jesus's birthday didn't know, or maybe didn't care that it was September 11th. I don't know. Hmm. It's very, very interesting. Well, it's also, I think um, that morning would have been, um, what is it? The, um, the horns, they would come out and they would blow the horns, um, kind of it's commemorating the, the new, the new King. So it's interesting that if they would have been doing that ceremonially um, year after year, that in that particular day, the king had arrived. Yeah, if you look at the Greek of Revelation 12, Simeon can mean like a constellation or something. Mega ofte into urano. It, and the urano is heavens, but also like sky. Right? So there's a constellation or a sign in the sky. Gune. It's a woman. Yeah. Anyway. Um, what website did you use? Can you see this comment here? I think Anwar is talking about the um astronomy website you're talking about oh stellarium is what i used stellarium there you go yeah and you can you can download it or you can also just do it through a url you don't even have to download it um okay cool real quick here are angels and demons from michael heiser great um more in-depth books and then i have a copy of unseen realm but it has been chewed up a little bit by my dog because <laughs> I left it on the coffee table, but uh, Unseen Realm, awesome book. There's another one called Supernatural, I think, which is like the more 
the less scholarly, more layman's version of this book for anybody who's like really new into this and just wants something simple, not so scholarly. So awesome. Check that stuff out.